as far as a total package, is this the best crew that you've brought into this thing? Best since last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's it's a remarkably consistent group. You know, they just they all seem to show up and run well every time. Well, what I loved about Audible's Florida Derby is, you know, in the, in the Holy Bull, he kind of attended the pace, which was a little slower. And uh, in the Florida Derby, when they went real fast, he, he dropped way back. So, you know, to show that he can he can do both, uh, show some tactical speed, and also let the race unfold the way it, you know he needs it to. Uh, if they go fast, he's fine settling back, and if they go go slow he can he can uh, not let him get away from him so um, it's good to see I mean I don't think there's any question uh, Apollo curse will be broken here at some point and, you know the, the trend is a lot different now than it was however many years ago you want to go back horses just don't run as many times leading into the derbies they used to and you know, I mean, he can have tons of experience and things can go wrong at the break and it doesn't matter if you win a two or not but um, you know, I think uh, with Mag in Magna Moon's case, we we've gotten to do everything we've wanted to do since breaking was made on January 13th. The schedule is gone exactly as we laid it out. So, uh, you know, hopefully by being two weeks late to get his first start, uh, that doesn't hurt his chances. Right. Well, in Vino Rosso's case, like I said, the, other than the Tampa Derby, he's always shown up and, and run the way we expected him to. But the, the thing we felt really confident with him from the beginning is we think, we think he wants the distance. And you know, Wood Memorial was his first chance to go a mile and an eighth. And you know, if you look at his pedigree, it's, it really screams mile and a quarter to a mile and a half. So I think you know, with the with the Wood, a good solid pace up front, and being able to settle and relax and really finish up great at a mile and an eighth. So it gives us optimism that uh, you know the mile and a quarter is going to be something that he really relishes. Noble Indy again, you know, he hasn't done much wrong. I think uh, we got a little bit of an education in the Risen Star. We decided to try to take him back off the pace a little bit and got a little dirt in his face. And he just reacted a little bit greenly to it. And talking to John Velasquez afterwards, we, we always kind of had in mind that he might be a horse that needs blinkers and we worked him in blinkers leading up to the Louisiana Derby. It seemed to help keep him more focused. And what I loved about that race is, I mean, at one point he was a neck half length behind, looked like he'd gotten past and he kind of re-rallied, which you don't you don't see too many horses do that, even you know more seasoned older horses. So I thought that uh, showed a lot about him.